Oh my. Oh my. Uh, it's 1.55 in the morning. And we're trying to find some ponds to hit tomorrow. But it's not that easy. <laughs> All right, so yesterday I went to this pond, right? We got some pretty big bass in there, some nice ones. They got a couple of small ones, too. We was catching them on a, uh, a eight inch zoom curly tail, black with some purple. I think it was like, mid, call it midnight or something like that. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to this pond. It's a pond on the other side of my neighborhood I didn't know about. And I could have been walking there the whole time. Fishing. But we're about to get started in a little bit. Um, let me grab a couple of my fishing rods. And um, yeah. All right, so here's the other pond right here. I think, yeah, this is it right here. Pretty nice bass, and it's down there somewhere. So we're gonna walk down there and see if we can get a couple of nice bass before I go to work today. First cast, let's see what we can do. See that? See a drain right here. I'm gonna try to end up coming across that drain. I see a baby bass. Here we go. Oh, here's baby. First cast, baby. Oh, he's pulling drag too. He's pulling drag. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. That's about a decent size three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. On the Magnum Texas rig. First cast. That's a chunk right there. Let me get them back in the water. Let me throw under this tree right here. That's like a night. Nice spot for a bass to bed at. Let's see. Oh, I'm in a tree. See what I can do. Another thing I like to do, I like to pitch on the close to the shores because these bass kind of bedding in these ponds and stuff. So I like to try to fish shallows and stuff like that, kind of, you know, pitch it out there next to grass and anything that's different in the water you want to throw on that. Oh, oh my god <laughs> just what i was talking about right there just what i was talking about that was a big boy right there by that grass <laughs> jesus christ today is not my day at all at all
but the Magnum, the overall summer bait for me is either a Magnum Lizard, eight inch Lizard, or the eight inch Curly Tail Texas Rig worm. It's easy, fast, get a lot of bites on it, so I don't see why not. But you know how that go. I might be doing it too fast. If you start, if your bite starts slowing down, you might want to slow up your retrieve a little bit. So with this next retrieve, I'm gonna kind of slow it up and see if I can get a bass like that. Nine times out of ten, when you change up your receive, how fast you're going, then that also plays a part in that too. I'm gonna move over here on this tree. I see it might be one in front of me. I'm not gonna twitch it as hard. I'm gonna twitch it off the bottom, but I'm little pops. I see. Nine times out of 10. I fish a bite if he's chasing it. Told you. Every time you change up your receive, you might get a bass on. That's a little decent sized fish right here. I'm back in the water. It's day two. I had to go get some stuff from Walmart. I'm gonna try to catch that big boy I had hooked on to yesterday. Hopefully, I catch him. But who knows? So stay tuned. My worm is almost gone. Oh, I see him. I see a big boy. I just seen him. I just seen a nice sized fish. About a two pound bass. Here you go. Took my worm though. Nice size fish. <laughs> Just that quick. Yeah, I won't be able to cast it. Well, I might be able to cast it over here. the bed. Let me try over here in the open. That wasn't good. Uh. That's a perfect cast. Every cast to me that is like almost unbelievable is almost perfect. Oh my, oh my. Come here, big boy. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, I got him, I got him. 
Now that's a three pounder right there. Look at that bass. Look at that bass. Since. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up notification. <laughs> if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up notification right there at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend to subscribe to the channel.